I just got home from a crazy night that I'm still processing and I want to tell you all about it. I have a little announcement. Okay. So, you know, there's this show on Broadway called The Prom. Yes. Tonight, I'm playing Olivia Keating. Tonight, in The Prom. I'm, Look at Caitlin's face. Well, I'm playing myself in that in the in the Olivia Keating track. Do you know your lines? I know my lines, okay. but I don't know how it's going to be when I stand in front of people with lights because pe everyone compares it to this. It's not like this. So anyone who's at the Long Acre Laker tonight, you'll see this guy. Terrifying. So I was first asked to do this little guest spot probably about a month ago, and I immediately said, "This is Henry." my dog Henry. My immediate reaction was, that's terrifying. I don't know if I can do that. But I didn't want to say no to it uh, because I didn't want to regret saying no to it. So I said yes to it and that's sort of where this all started. If you haven't seen The Prom, the curtain comes up and there's this reporter, Olivia Keating, normally played by the fantastic Courtney Ballant. Olivia Keating is covering the opening night of a Broadway musical for an outlet called Broadway Mania. And so she's a red carpet reporter. I've been a red carpet reporter. I've covered opening nights. It's very natural to me. She introduces Dee Dee Allen, which is Beth Level's character. Dee Dee Allen is a big Broadway star and Dee Dee Allen comes and she interviews her. You sort of set up her first joke, but it's literally the first thing you see in the prom is this character, which is terrifying. I asked everyone for advice. In fact, the day that they actually sent me the script so I could see my lines was on the day the Tony nominations came out, April 30th, and Beth Level was at Broadway.com doing Live at Five, and I was sitting with her in our green room when I got the email, and I said, oh, I just got the script for the, the thing I'm gonna be doing, and she said, well, let's read lines. So I immediately read lines with Beth Level, which is the best place to start. And then actually this morning, I had two-time Tony winner, Judith Light, in the studio, and I told her what I was doing, and if you ever wondered, what Judith Light would be like as Dee Dee Allen, roll clip. Dee Dee, you're a Broadway star. Yes, I am. You have your choice of roles. What drew you to Eleanor? Do you have any tips for like when the curtain goes up and I see the lights and the music and all the people in front of me? Like, how do I just not? Remember, they also put their pants on one leg at a time. Okay, one leg at a the, time. And this is not about you. Right. This is about your audience and you're giving a performance. Everybody thinks our business is all about us. Uh -uh. No, it's about everybody else. And breathe, and breathe. Right, breathe. And breathe. Well, I just kept going over the lines over and over and I felt really comfortable with them. I barely slept last night though. I literally woke up in the middle of the night thinking about the lines. That's how obsessed about this I was. So this is actually a whole week long thing. They're having different Broadway reporter personalities uh, be a part of this and do this slot. So I was first, and then uh, Frank Delello from New York One, Richard Ridge from Broadway World, Ruthie Feinberg from Playbill, David Gordon from Theater Mania. They're all doing the same thing. So I'm done, and hopefully they're now losing sleep tonight, and I'm done, which is great. So all of us had to meet uh, like an hour before showtime and do a rehearsal. We rehearsed with uh, Casey Nicolaj's associate, uh, Casey Hushin, stage management was there, they were amazing, and we learned blocking, which I wasn't really ready for. Lines I felt really comfortable with, we each ran through it, I felt okay about that, but blocking, learning where I had to stand, that's a little terrifying because you don't wanna look like you just don't know what you're doing on stage. Let's face it, I may have ended up looking like a little awkward, trust me. I'm gonna be in that show tonight, I just had a rehearsal, we did it once, just with the stage managers, and then we did it once with Beth Level and Brooks Osmanskis and Angie Schwer, and it, they all said it was fine, but it's still nerve-wracking, and I just don't like where you have to like stand there and not do anything. I know my lines and I know the actions, but it's the standing around part, but it's gonna be over really quick, and hopefully I won't F it up. Five minutes to eight, I went backstage, the whole cast came on stage, everyone's now in costumes, now it's for real. The cast is so amazing. I've interviewed many of them, and it was really nice and we took photos and they chanted my name, which was amazing. And so finally, Matt Sklar's amazing overture started and that was it, curtain up. Broadway.com here at opening night of Eleanor, the Eleanor Roosevelt musical, starring the incomparable Dee Dee Allen. Thank you. Dee Dee, you're a Broadway star. Yes, I am. You have your choice of roles. What drew you to Eleanor? I did my intro. I interviewed 
Dee Dee Allen. We, ha we had our little moments on stage. Sheldon Henry is the uh, ensemble member who played my camera guy. So I got to sort of direct my attention to him whenever I wanted to. He led me off stage when it was over. It was fast. That was it. That was it. That was, that was the whole thing. That was it. And then I ran off stage and I got to thank everyone I could and was escorted to the front, went to my seat in row H with my friends and got to just sit down, breathe and enjoy, honestly, like one of my favorite Broadway musicals ever. I love this show so much. I spent most of the first act sort of processing what happened. I knew I said my lines right. I knew I didn't trip or fall over or do anything embarrassing. Um, and then I just kind of, and then I just let it go and I said, well, that was, that was fun. Broadway debut, I'm not an actor. I acted on Broadway, sort of, it was fun.